Let's take your portraits from noob to pro in under 300 seconds. We're gonna edit this portrait that is a little bland into something looking nice like this. Step one, minor adjustment. This one is a little underexposed. As you can see, I'm just gonna boost her shadows a bit. Also gonna make those highlights a little brighter, drop those blacks. Just minor adjustments, kind of tweak it to your liking. There's no right or wrong here. I'm gonna add a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation little bit of clarity, maybe drop the texture. I'm gonna add a little more contrast. We are gonna come here to detail and we're gonna add some sharpening. When adding sharpening, boost it to 150 and you're gonna be like, this is super ugly, Dax. The tool you need to use here is masking. So you're gonna wanna click the Alt button, I believe it's Command on Mac. You're gonna hit that and then you're gonna see here, as you slide it, what the masking is doing is removing sharpening from flat areas. Areas where there's not a lot of detail, AKA her skin tones, you know, her shirt, her jacket. Those don't need to be sharpened because you want those to be soft in a portrait. So you're just gonna wanna hit the Alt key. You're gonna come down the white is going to show you what's being sharpened the black is not you're going to want to just drop that until all you can really see is the outer edges of it so bang there you go now you can see her face is not actually being sharpened but all around the edges here it's being sharpened but it is still being sharpened too much so i always like to drop it i just like to put it to 150 so i can clearly see what i'm doing we're gonna wanna add some eye sharpening. So really, the eye is the first thing people are gonna look at. So you're gonna wanna zoom in on that eye. You're gonna wanna come here. I like to use the adjustment brush just cause it's easier. And then you're just gonna wanna paint in both of the eyes as best you can. Now once the eyes are painted in, what you're gonna be adding here is you're gonna be adding some clarity, some texture, a little bit of sharpening, and actually we're gonna add just a slight tad in exposure. This is really gonna make those eyes pop so people can really see them. Next is softening the skin. The skin needs to be soft, especially in woman portraits. A little bit of softening in the skin can go a long way. So the tool we're gonna use for that, again, is an adjustment brush. I'm gonna get you guys to start by just painting all the visible skin on her face. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Don't be scared to press the O key. This will make your adjustment brush color, depending on what color you set it to. Mine is green, so now I can very clearly see what is being covered. And what we're gonna be doing with this adjustment brush is dropping the texture, because it'll remove the texture texture in the face and that's really what you want to do. I wouldn't drop it all the way, I'm just going to drop it 50% and as you can see that's really going to soften out her face. Now the next step is removing pimples, any sort of things that you don't want in the image. You're going to want to come to the spot removal, you're just going to simply click and click. Oh I think I forgot to reset this image because I've already done spot removal as you can see. But you're going to want to remove all pimples, you know, marks, things that you don't really want to be seeing on the skin. It from here, what you're gonna wanna do is just make your minor adjustments here. I'd probably warm up the image, add a little more clarity for the lips. I like to make the lips very red, so I'm just gonna use, again, another adjustment brush. I like to come down here, maybe just add a little more saturation. Those are the main things you're gonna wanna do. But there's one last trick here to add depth of field to your image. I'm gonna use a different photo for this one. Let me go find it. So this is the image here that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna throw on a quick preset so it's a little easier to look at. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab a radial filter and we're gonna wanna put this around her face, just like that, just so the edges are kind of fading off. As you can see, you really wanna make sure her eyes are not in the green area. And what you're gonna wanna do, we're gonna be dropping the sharpness. We're gonna wanna duplicate this a bunch until her face is really the only thing in focus as you can see this is kind of blurred out her hair is kind of blurred out and it really just adds all that focus to her face because everything else is blurred out and pretty much those are some tips for you guys on taking your portraits from noob to pro really quickly. Question of the day for you guys, do you take portraits? I wanna know what genre of portraits do you take? Comment below, I'd be super interested. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to new videos every single week. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time I drop a new video. And without further ado, creators, keep creating. Peace.